because part of your passion is to bake and create food that has really helped you have that higher average order value because a lot of mistakes that cafe owners make they really focus on just the art of coffee and they think that mm -hmm. hey, you know what? i'm going to charge another dollar on the art of coffee and that would be able to make the business but for you it's really about the food within that yeah. cafe and that has that helped you tremendously with the, with getting the average order value up and do you mind sharing what that is and 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 kind of like tips on that Sure. So at first we didn't have a big extensive menu. We really had, I would say maybe max like seven items between breakfast and lunch put together. Um, and our average ticket number was pretty low. I remember it was like maybe $9 per, you know, that's very low because no matter how, and, and mind you, we were working harder for the money because now we didn't have that many choices in food. So all of our money was coming from drinks. So we would get slammed and work felt like we worked ourselves to the bone for minimal amount of money because it was all drinks. So now what I did was I created a completely different menu. I created it so that it's more upscale um, so that it's worth the money that you're paying and you can't find them anywhere else. So now our average ticket price is double over double that. Oh, for so, sure. Yeah. So, I mean, now we make the money that we made back then, we make it so much quicker. And we're like, really? We're already hitting that number? Because, you know, now our, like there's so many choices. And yeah, pricing is everything. Because how, how you can't price a coffee for $8. You just can't, mm -hmm. you know? And people love variety. I don't want to go someplace for a coffee and then someplace for a sandwich and then someplace for, no. Like people want a one-stop shop. People are busy. People are building their own lives. Make it easy for them, but make it quality. That's my biggest thing is oh, it's wow. we're all. Are you a vegan? You can come to my store. Are you gluten-free? You can come to my store. Are you a regular meat eater? You can come to my store. You know, like there, are you a kid? You want a milkshake? You can come to my store. We have literally everything, but that we do it so it's together in the brand. As we all know, hospitality industry margins are a lot slimmer than any right. other business models out there. So definitely it has to come from a place of, of love and passion, it right? And enjoyment. Um, and I'm pretty sure for you, a big one is, and I'm now, now putting words in your mouth, is like seeing the magic in, in people's eyes, right? Like when you deliver that yeah. experience. Uh, I don't know, is, is that right for you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it was... Because physically you're tired, you know, physically I was exhausted. It was 17 hour long days for me and barely any sleep. Um, so my knees were hurting, you know, my feet were hurting. But then when I'm in the store, you know, even my employees would be like, how do you have so much energy? I just, they couldn't understand. But it's because the energy doesn't come physically for me. It was emotionally and mental energy Ooh. from being surrounded by my passion and seeing, you know, my creations and the things that I had dreamt, like only dreamt of, you know, becoming a reality and me being to take that, like being able to take that dream and that vision that, you know, at that time was like three months prior was only a dream in my head. And now I'm standing in it and now I'm creating it and now I'm giving my dream to somebody in hand. And that's really what sparked like all of that energy for me was being able to take my creativity and seeing it bring joy to someone else. I mean, how can you not be happy? You know, 